Hi everybody, today we would like to share with you a new radio biking wheel. That's right, we have the new DDX 9702S. We're going to unbox it and show you what it has, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so we have this new radio here. We're going to unbox it and show you what comes in the box. A few short things before we do that though is we do a bunch of videos on this so this isn't going to be the only video on this radio mm -hmm. we're going to show you this video which is going to be a longer one and then we're going to break it down in a bunch of smaller pieces and really highlight some of the features we may have only glanced over just to so it's not a two hour video uh also if you like the video please subscribe yes please is that enough pandering <laughs> all right pandering done let's open this up and see what's inside shall we okay. All right, first things first, we have a GPS antenna. Okay. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. La antenna del GPS. We have the emergency brake extension wire. Mm -hmm. We have a Bluetooth microphone. El micrófono. Or okay. just regular microphone. Doesn't necessarily have to be for Bluetooth. We have a giant instruction manual with a bunch of screws. Y el libro de los, del manual. We have the power plug. Cable de corriente. Comes with a trim bezel that you won't use 99% of the time. Viene con el contorno del radio. Then we have the radio itself with a cage. There again, something you probably won't use 99% of the time. Nope. All right, well, we've actually already got this radio unboxed. We've got two of them. Actually, we've mm -hmm. got several of them. So we'll go ahead and start, take a look at the back of this thing, and show you everything that it has. Okay, okay so to start, it's got 50 watts by 4 with 6 channel 4 volt output. So recuerden que este tiene 50 watts por 4 con 6 salidas de RCA de 4 voltios. So we have the front here, the rear, and the sub. So it's frontal, trasero, y el del subwoofer. All right, so now we have the, this guy right here is the AV output, or video output. And next to it we have, oh, go ahead. No, okay, so tenemos la salida de video, obviamente de RCA. Okay, the, the yellow one right next to it. Now this can get confusing. This is the rear camera output. Kenwood doesn't make it a different color like everyone else does. Uh, so you have two yellow ones right next to one another. So for some reason your camera isn't working, you want to make sure you plugged it into the right one. So this guy right here, rear view camera. So recuerden que el otro, la otra entrada de RCA es para la cámara. So recuerda, trata de fijarte donde lo vas a poner para que no tengas problemas. This hole right here is a headphone jack style AV input. This would be AV input one. Okay, so tenemos entrada de 3.5 millimeters. This would be AV input 2. It's also a headphone jack style. Okay, también tenemos entrada de video de 3.5 millimeters 2. Now these are also full AV inputs, so you can you can get uh, yellow, red, white into these, a four pin uh, adapter. Kenwood does make one, um, so we'll move along here. Uh, these two guys right here, this eighth inch and this little plug here are for the iData Maestro Link. So recuerden que eso es para el Maestro Link. This one here is for the Bluetooth microphone and or microphone. Obviamente el, la entrada del micrófono. The HDMI is located way back here. La entrada del HDMI. It sticks in about that far just to give you an idea of how deep it is. So if you've got a deep HDMI cable, you got nothing to worry about. It's also got a fan here located on the back of it. Then you'll notice these two wires here. Basically what we have is the reverse wire and also the emergency brake wire. And as you'll notice, we've also just screwed it in right here. Can you imagine? Guess what that's for. Go ahead. Okay, so recuerden que esos dos cables, uno es para la reversa y el otro es para el parking brake. Están ahora sí que con, con las etiquetas para que no los olvides. And for those of you that are still wondering what I was talking about, this is how you bypass it. <laughs> okay, this guy right here is the Sirius XM input. So la entrada del Sirius XM. And of course the power plug goes right here. Okay. For those of you that are wondering, the Sirius XM tuner 
is the SXV300. So recuerda que este es Sirius XM Ready. Está listo, pero tienes que comprarlo. Aparte, la pieza es SXV300. Now, this guy right here is the one and only USB cable. What? Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is how long it is. This is it. This is all you get. All right? Just letting you know. One and only. Okay, so that's the back of the radio. That's all the holes it got. So we're going to spin this sucker around, power it up, and let you see it from the front side. Yep. How exciting. All right, stay tuned. Let's talk about it for a couple minutes before we get deep down inside of it. Okay. <laughs> that sounded sick. Okay, <laughs> so we have a 6.95 inch display. Uh, it's a VGA LED backlit touchscreen. Ok, so recuerden que este es una pantalla táctil de 6.95 pulgadas. If for those of you that are wondering, it is an 800 by 400 pixel screen. So recuerda que este es 800 por 400 pixels. So basically what that means is those cool 1080 videos, well, no. <laughs> it's got the 80 part. That's about That's it. it. Ok. Oh, so it's more nice. Yeah, it's it's it is motorized. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll hit this button right here. Your CD DVD happens to go right there. All right, tip this sucker up. Okay, so a couple other things is it's got variable key illumination, which are these right here. It also has uh, you can do custom backgrounds, and it'll do 21 different languages. Okay, so recuerda que este tiene un multicolor. Y tiene, ahora sí que bastantes este lenguajes. Here's your backgrounds. And here's your panel colors. Y puedes customizarlo como tú quieras. Okay, so when this thing powers up, let's talk about this real quick. So, demonstration on or off. We're going to turn that thing off. Languages, enter. So, it's got a ton of languages to choose from. We'll keep it simple. Whoa. We'll just go English. Factory default. Um, angle. It has several different angles to choose from, zero to six. And basically what that means is it'll sit like that on your dash. So if you have a glare issue, you can have it tip. So recuerda que este tiene seis tipos de, de, de ángulos. Tú puedes acomodarlo como tú quieras. All right, we'll hit finish. All right, so this has a 24-bit DA converter to make it sound amazing. And it's got a slew of features built into it. So we're going to talk about some of the features real quick. Yep. All right. So it's got a ton of them. All right. So we'll come over here. Mm -hmm. We'll hit the all source. And then we can just break them down. As we said, it's got a CD DVD player. Mm -hmm. Let's get my cool pointer. It's got HD radio. Right. It'll do iPod. It's got USB. It's got HDMI. You have the Sirius XM option. It'll do some apps. It'll do Pandora. It'll do iHeartRadio. It'll do whatever the heck that is. I'm sorry for all you out there that love that feature. I'm just not familiar with it all that well. I'm sorry. Uh, it'll do Bluetooth streaming audio, audio, uh, telephone. Okay, we get a lot of questions about this OEM right here. This is for the iData Link Maestro only. So if you get this rating, you're like, how come I can't do anything with it? That would be why. You had to have installed the iData Link Maestro. Other than that, it will not do anything. This is your AV input one from the uh, microphone headphone jack in the back. AV input two. All right, Fernando, let him have it. Okay. So, recuerda que este tiene CD, um, HD radio, el iPad, el, obviamente el USB, el HDMI, el Sirius XM Ready, y este da algunas aplicaciones, el Pandora, el iHeart Radio, alguna otra aplicación. Este, el Bluetooth Audio, el Bluetooth de llamadas, y este, si tienes algún problema, tienes que comprar el iData Link. Ahora sí que ese es, esa es la entrada de video de 3.5 y la entrada de video 2. All right, one other feature that this has uh, is backup guidelines for the backup camera. You can go in and add your own lines. Uh, now, that's a video we're going to make all by itself. Um, if you buy a camera and you want your own custom guidelines, this radio will do it. Okay, so now, the main reason why Kenwood came out with this radio mm -hmm. is for two reasons. And you know what they are. No, tell me. Apple. CarPlay. And Android. Auto. 
That's right. This guy was made to do both of those. So if you're an iPhone guy, this will work. And if you're an Android guy, this will work. That would also be the reason why it came with a GPS antenna and it's not a GPS radio. The reason why they do that is because your phones have GPS, but they like to sit down in the cup holders. So they give you an external GPS antenna that you can mount up in your dash and that will extend the range of the GPS antenna built into your phone. Ooh, that's why. That's why they give you this. It's not because it has GPS. GPS built in. Now, as far as the Android Auto and CarPlay, we got videos on both of those. So check them out. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to the coolness of the radio. The whole reason why you're getting a radio, I would hope, is for sound. And this one has a nice little sound pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the sound pack real quick. And we're going to wrap this guy up. Okay. All right, so... Let's go over here, and we'll hit menu, and we'll hit setup, and we'll come into the audio. So it has balance and fader, you just move around like this, hit center, and it'll take you back to the center. We have an EQ, hit enter. Now it has natural, rock, pop, easy, top 40, jazz, powerful, and user. It also has source tone adjust, which allows you to have a different source or different EQ setting for each source. All right, we'll go back. You also over here, you have your subwoofer level control, so you can turn your subwoofer up and down while you're adjusting your EQ, which you simply just do by dragging your finger anywhere you want. Nice and responsive. Okay, so recuerda que este tiene source tone adjust para que tú puedas acomodar el tipo de source que tú tienes, radio, USB, a como tú, a como tú gustes. Now you have your loudness control on and off. You have your volume offset. Now volume offset is for um, if you're listening to something other than the AM FM radio, because this comes with an AM FM radio. If you're listening to a CD, your aux, your Bluetooth, any of the other sources, and they seem quieter than natural, you can use the volume offset to turn it up or turn it down. It's like a secondary volume control, and then it'll stay that way uh, from then on. Down here you also have another version of subwoofer volume control. You have bass boost, three settings. I don't recommend using this, but if you feel you need it, go right ahead. Car settings. What this allows you to do is tell it what kind of car you have. This is going to help for the uh, time alignment. Okay, you got a couple to choose from here. Keep going, minivan, long minivan. You got a really long minivan. Uh, you can tell it what size speakers you have, or where, I'm sorry, where the speakers are located, in front and rear. Okay. Uh, back down here. You have your speaker select. You can tell it what size speakers you have. Okay. You have your subwoofer. You can tell it what size subwoofer you have, or if you don't have a subwoofer at all. And then seat positioning. Tell it where you're seated. Seated where you're sitting in the car okay this is for time alignment and then you can go in and adjust it you can actually fine-tune how far you are away from each speaker in the car just by simply tapping on that and then dragging the slider back and forth here okay and this can be done with a tape measure all right we'll back up here back up one more time come all the way down and then the last this has DSP select bypass Okay, what DSP Select Bypass means is if you just want to shut everything off, no EQ, no crossover, no na 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 na, boom, you shut it off. It also has a high and low pass crossover if we didn't touch on that. Okay. Yes. That's it. Okay. This radio is packed full of things. Like I said, we're going to do a bunch more videos on it. We just want to shorten these things up because we understand you don't want to watch a half hour. You might want to take a break in between, whatever, you know, take some time. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, if you like us, subscribe so you can catch the next one. Yep. Bonus. Where can they find us? Yeah, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and right here in YouTube. That's correct. You guys have a nice night. We'll see you soon.